I don't think I've been in this part yet. And neither as uh, Zoe or as Kian. Oh, and here I'll meet the <laughs> Ropper Clax. Potions, herbs, curiously shaped cookies, everything a wizard, witch, or warlock may require. Using only the finest organic ingredients, Elgwan bladders, rat tails, dung. Conditions in the ghetto aren't bad, all things considered. We got food and water, and there's medicine and herbs for everyone. What we don't have is freedom. Yeah. Old Town's not a bad place to be. If only the Azadi would leave us be, like they promised they would. Yeah. What do the Azadi Potions. want from us? Why have they stuck us in here? Curious we haven't done cookies. anything to them, and we can't help who we are. I know. Old Town's getting too crowded. It just wasn't built to house so many people. Mm-hmm. Hello, Roper. Good God, Roper Clax. At your service, milady. What may I do for... Wait. I know you. Where do I know you from? April. April right. How did you get out of the calculator? Uh, well... How lovely to see you. Say what? It's been too long, my dear. Too long. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. I guess it's been... long. What have you been up to? This and that. How lovely. Me? I'm rehabilitated. Rehabilitated? <laughs> How so? Being soundly walloped by you was the best thing that ever happened to me. Really? Oh, yes. It gave me perspective. Time to think. When I finally escaped that confounding device, I joined WWWA. Ah. Uh... Wicked Witches and Warlocks Anonymous. It's a marvelous support group for wizarding professionals. <laughs> oh. Oh, it helped tremendously to find others who shared my uh, affliction. Affliction? A desire for evil deeds and world domination, your basic, um, EDWD syndrome. <laughs> I see. And now? Cured! I'm free of my desire to conquer and control, and I'm happy to be a simple merchant and published author. I guess that's a... a good thing. It is. It is indeed. So, April Ryan, is there anything I can do to help repay what you did for me? I am so mad that they decided to do, uh, again, a 180 turn with Dropper. Because he was evil in The Longest Journey. Then, in Dreamfall, it turns out he's not that evil. He was rehabilitated. He's good now. And then... In Dreamfall chapters, they basically did the ha-ha! He's not! And I felt like, was this really necessary? And again, the problem with, in my opinion, going from like a fairy tale that was uh, the longest journey to semi-serious tackling some convoluted issues. <sighs> Really, I would be so much happier if they separated The Longest Journey and Dreamfall and called it like two completely different stories. If they left April out of it and left the, the old characters out of it and said, no, this is a completely new thing. Like maybe they would keep like, I don't know, some uh, little references. But mm, okay. How did you get out of that calculator I trapped you in? I had to learn advanced trigonometry. After that, it was as easy as multiplying the root of pi with the volume of my mathematical prison. <laughs> oh, that sounds pretty complicated. 
Eh, it took me five years, but I gained some important personal skills in the process. I even had time to write a book. So it was all for the best. Uh, the book? You said something about being an author? I published one. I wrote my memoirs a few years ago. Farewell to my Wizarding Days by Roper F. Clax. What's the F stand for? Nothing. It just looked better on the cover. Anyway, as it turned out, the first and only print run had a slight uh, problem. A small charm made its way onto page 108. When readers got to that page, the book, as uh, misfortune would have it, exploded. <laughs> and you had nothing to do with that. Me? Absolutely not. I've been acquitted of all charges, and every single lawsuit has been dismissed in the magical court. I I'm quite innocent. It does mean, however, that only uh, one copy of Farewell to My Wizarding Days by Roper F. Clax exists, and uh, that would be mine. <laughs> I've decharmed it, and page 108 is quite safe to read now, I if you're interested. Not really, no. Really? Um, I actually do need some help. That's great! Anything to assist the woman who turned my life around. I'm looking for a way to get to the City of the Dark People. Visiting old friends, I take it? Your adventures are the stuff of legends, April Ryan? <laughs> By the way, did you ever read that pamphlet they published? The one with the amusing drawings? April Rye Bread and the Rod of Joy? Oh! <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Oh! <laughs> well, I'll never forget that illustration where the Dolmari lady takes the Rod of Joy and sticks it right... Anyway, <laughs> about the Dark People City. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> what do you plan on doing there? I need to visit their library. The library? Indeed. They are collectors, these dark people. They collect all sorts of knowledge. Arcane, forbidden knowledge. <clears throat> anyway, as luck would have it, there's a shadow ship docked down in the harbor right now. I'm sure they'll let the famous April Rye... I mean, April Ryan, I'm sure they will give you passage to their city. That's perfect, thank you. I mean, I am sure that they'll give me passage if I give them a very precious book. Let's say that's one of a kind that nobody else can have. <sighs> How do I get to the Dark People's Library again? Oh, there's a shadow ship docked in Shady Quay. Uh, be your charming self, and I'm sure they will give you passage to their city. Thanks. Thanks. At your service, milady. If you ever need a potion or a charm, visit Roper's Spells and Filters. I am surprised that in in Dreamfall chapters they didn't just lock him up, because I remember that. Wait, not this way. Because I remember that in Dreamfall chapters it was completely forbidden to trade. In magical stuff so he wouldn't be able to sell charms anymore wait where am I <laughs> is it oh it's the right way okay um, so he wouldn't be able to sell charms that's probably that's why he became a, um, a pu puppeteer let's say and but I mean I don't know it must have happened before they they decided to um, ban all the magical stuff. Okay, let's try talking with the with the dark people. Wait, isn't this the captain? How are things going? Most of the supplies are on board. We're missing a few crates of grains and vegetables, a delivery of potions, and some other bits and pieces. Good. Don't linger too long. The paperwork's already being processed by the Azadi. Those fools. If only they knew Hush. what... Shh! Not here. I don't think it's a good idea to tempt fate. <laughs> I didn't think you believed in that spiritual claptrap, Raven. Fate? Ha! We make our own destiny. Still, better to be on the safe side. You don't foresee any problems, then? Everything's in order. This ship's going to the islands. 
At least according to all the properly stamped and perfectly forged documents. <laughs> I'll rest easy only when you've reached Safe Harbor. Don't fret. You'll rest easy soon enough. Is this the guy that rescued Kian at the beginning of Dreamfall Chapters? It looks very similar. Hello. I seek passage to your city. I wish to visit the library. We are here to trade and to collect. We do not take on passengers. Yes, Sue. A long time ago, I sailed on one of your ships, and I met one of your people. He called me a wave. Not many of your kind would lay claim to such a title. I'm not laying claim to anything. I'm just telling you what he told me. If you were a wave, we would grant you passage. But all I see is a human. Ha! Huh. That was rude. I'd like to ask for passage again. We do not take on passengers. I know. Um, let's try... Paying. I'll pay you good money for passage. We do not crave money, human. Then what do you want? We are here to find new additions to our library. Someday it will be complete and we can sleep. Until then, we travel and we collect. I'd like to ask for passage again. So basically, we I need a book. Take on passengers. A reason? I'm sure we can come to some sort of understanding. We cannot. We do not take on passengers. Ever. But I was your passenger. You did once. A long time ago, I was given passage on one of your ships. Then you were fortunate. It does not happen very often. Mate. I'd like to ask for passage again. We do not take on passengers. Mate, I beg you. I'm desperate. I need to get to your city, to your library. I'm looking for someone. There are no humans in the city. Rarely is anyone allowed to visit. She ain't forest. no human, bro. Not a human. Someone else. The white of the drag kin. I know of no such creature. You should look elsewhere. Damn it, dude. I'd like to ask for passage again. <laughs> I need to I use all the dialogue options. Passengers. No, I don't want to threaten him. How can I prove that I'm what you call a wave? It is not something you can prove. It is something you are. And you are not a wave. Then why did one of your people tell me I was? If you ever were a wave, it is no longer in you. I see only death in your eyes, human. That's nice. I mean, let's try talking with Klax again. Maybe his dialogue changed now. I'm only in town for a short visit. I will not stay long. I am better off back home. <sighs> what? Because, yeah, I am certain that I need to ask Robert Klax for, Klax for a book. And once he give it to me, then I can... Go with the dark people. Potions, magical April Ryan. Yes. What can I do for you? Sell me your book. Would you be interested in parting with that book of yours? Oh, I don't know. I, it's the last remaining copy, you know. All the other copies spontaneously combusted. I'm aware of that, but I need something to get me passage on that shadow ship down in Shady Quay. You believe my book would help with that? Maybe. The dark people collect books, and yours is quite unique. Isn't that so? It is. It is. Wouldn't you consider it an honor to have your first published novel become a part of the greatest library in Arcadia? Hmm. I would. I would indeed. Wait, I have it right here. I carry it with me always. Mm -hmm. What a coincidence. There you go. Treat it with care. Don't let it get wet. Don't uh, feed it red meat. What? And uh, for the love of the balance, do not hold it upside down when there's a full moon. Oh, never again shall I glance upon the top ten reasons why you should not build a flying castle on page 42 and smile knowingly. <laughs> <laughs> but think about it. Thousands of people will get to enjoy your unique outlook on life. Your book will be part of something much, much greater. You're right. Of course, you're right. Go on, take it away, or I shall... 
become emotional, and when a wizard weeps, the whole world weeps with him. Oh, the humanity, the humanity. <laughs> Jesus. I love him, and I and I think it's su such a waste that they made him evil again. Seriously, he's such a quirky wizard. Can you imagine having him on your side in the rebellion? Ah, uh, well, too bad. Right now, we need to go. We don't have... The ship looks very strange. Uh, wait, uh, this. Oh, I cannot. This is the only remaining copy of Klax's novel, and if I'm lucky, it won't blow up in my hand. Hopefully. Books. Isn't that right? We collect all that is written and recorded. Books, scrolls, stones, crystals. History, poetry, journals, stories. From the first word to someday the last. Until our collection is complete, we will continue to travel, to trade, and to collect. I guess the last existing copy of a rare book would be pretty important to you. It would be, unless we already possess it. You don't. Not this one. Farewell to my wizard in days by Robert F. Clax. I will speak with my brothers at the library. This is a book we do not have. <laughs> we need it for our library. Will you part with it? For a price. I need to get to your city. Show me the book so that I can see for myself. Um, there you go. Very well, human. This book is of value to us. We will grant you passage on our shadow ship. Thank you. When do we leave? Very soon. We await only the last deliveries from our suppliers. Step aboard. Thanks. That was easier than expected. 